Tarkov is one of the most immersive first-person shooter experiences out there, most especially its sniper gameplay. I see him, I see him, I see him. I dropped him. Now I'm a big nerd for immersion. So in today's video, I made myself a challenge. I decided to play Tarkov like a real-life sniper. And at the end of the video, I had one of the most ridiculous sniper moments ever. But first, how do I play like a real-life sniper? Well, I came across Gameology Sniper React series with Richard Minus, who was a real-life sniper for six of his nine years in the US Army. In this series, he broke down sniper moments in video games, talking about what he would have done if it were real life. I binge-watched almost all these videos and found the most useful tips that I wanted to apply to my own Tarkov sniper gameplay. There's a ton of value he provided as a real-life sniper, but here were the three most important ones I found. Number one, utilize concealment and distance. And I quote Richard saying, we want the odds in our favor. As a sniper, we're outgunned, outnumbered. Number two, if an enemy is right on us, we're gonna hide wherever we can and stay still. Try to be invisible is something Richard emphasized a lot. And number three, when moving, you wanna move quick and dominate rooms as we enter unknown buildings. It's gonna come in handy as we try to find our sniper positions. Richard also mentioned how snipers usually have a fire team with them to help clear out areas. But for this, we're going in solo. So for this challenge, I decided to do it in Streets of Tarkov. It's gonna be a challenging mixed bag of close and distant engagements in an urban warfare environment. Also, I'm limiting myself to bolt action sniper rifles only and a pistol as a sidearm. This will help me focus on being a sniper without having that temptation to just push enemies with a full auto or semi-automatic gun. So I did a full day of Street to Tarkov sniper raids and here's how it went. I started the first raid spawning next to Check 15, the most notorious building in this map for PvP. So I found this apartment building to post up into and climb to the third floor to get a good angle of the area. But then, I hear movement just below me. It was a player, but he scurried away as he heard me switch to my pistol. And this was a good thing. I'm not looking for any close range fights. Now that I'm clear, I set back up into my sniper position, but unfortunately heard nothing for minutes. So I decided to just call it for this raid and go for extract to reset for another raid. But getting out of here isn't going to be easy. I'm currently in this building, so I'm going to have to take this main road, cut to the post office, which is another heavy foot traffic area, cross the Pinewood Hotel, and hopefully safely cut through into my extract sewer river. And I did exactly that coming across a couple of scabs along the way but nothing my pistol couldn't handle the scary part though is running across this main street i'm only wearing light armor since i want to be very mobile as a sniper but i'm only protected against light pistol rounds or buckshots anything more than that i'm probably getting too tapped in the chest before i cross i check my angles and i see this player scav he's looking the other way that's a good sign it's painkiller really quick let this cross once I get this painkiller on, I'm ready to run for it. We should be clear for our cross here. Go. Remember, that player scav went. Oh, shoot. That's not good. He can headshot me. Ooh, I think that's a player. The way it was shooting it was very player like. It was AI, I feel like, would have been more active shooting. He's gonna try to cut me off, so I think I have to deal with this guy. Yep. He's chasing. I can hear him walking. I hear this player's footsteps nearby. He wants me. And I remember the quote from Richard Minus as he said, I'm not gonna fight him when I'm in front of his weapon. So ideally, I get him on his flank. I hear him. Yep, that's a player. 100% player with that shotgun. He just ran past me. I think I can get a sniper angle on him here. That was him. He, he was holding a shotgun. That was a player scav. My heart was racing there, but trusting and patience worked out. With that problem dealt with, I continued to move towards my extract. We're actually um, near extract, so let's keep moving. It's just down this road ahead. And oh, dead player right there. Gotta be very careful here. Extract's just 12 o'clock of me. There's another guy, though. I think I whiffed. He saw me. He was trying to aim down on me as well. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You can't make this up. My computer blue screens in the worst possible moment. So I reset my PC and hope to get back alive. But I'm honestly not counting on it. Moment of truth... Did we serve? Are we still alive? We're still alive. Reconnect. Can't believe it. We're still alive. Can't believe it. Okay, okay. We were out for about a good five minutes. This guy shouldn't be waiting there. 
I doubt, highly doubt it. Just to be sure that I'll take a painkiller here. We'll just have to pistol our way through here. Oh, we whiffed him. We, oh, no, we got him! That's his body. Just making sure no one's here. Can't believe it. We got a player. We got a PMC, rather. We get him. 51. Yep. My kill. My name on it. 57. The 57. Oh, this guy was looted up. It's perfect. He's got nice armor as well. Oh, he's got good ammo. He's got a sleeper AK. Bad looking AK. Amazing bullets in it. Switch our armor out for his better one. Fully looted him. We zeroed his helmet. Got him. Let's go. What was supposed to be a quick reset turned out to be a heart racing sweaty win with a bag full of loot too. GG. I ran it back again with the exact same starting loadout from earlier's raid. Oh, we got the exact same spawn. Okay, for this one, I'm not gonna play the same building. I wanna switch it up. This time, we'll play the other side of check 15 maybe. So I decided to try to find a cheeky angle from this grocery to watch over check 15. But while snooping around for one, this happens. This is like the... Stay cool. Stay quiet. It's a squad. Don't move. This is straight out of Richard Minus's book. Stay still and be invisible. Those are two high geared players. <sighs> I'm not even kidding. My heart rate is, is way too high right now. Wait, dead player right there. Their teammate got dropped, got sniped. That's why they were running. They got sniped. Let's not try to loot that body. I'm in the middle of a squad fight here. Let's take cover here. Let me turn off my Discord notifs. The two are on the move again. They just walked past me again. I think they're looting their dead friend. I take this time to find a good sniper angle on these guys. And I remembered something. When I came into this grocery for the first time earlier, I vaguely remember seeing windows up top. So I went to find where that room was. And I found exactly what I was looking for. It overlooks the grocery right there. I hear footsteps under me. I believe it's still the duo from earlier. I'm not sure what they're up to, but I stay up here, quiet and patient. They might have heard me. They're under me, I switch guns. I'm quite confident they heard my weapon switch. I hear them just sprinting around below me, checking corners, looking for where they heard the noise. I just saw someone here. I saw someone go through that door. I see him. Just drop the player. That's one of the guys who ran past me earlier. This is his teammate, I think. His dual partner is still on the loose with a full auto M4. I still hear him running around below, but it seems like he has no idea where I am. So I take advantage of this and just watch over his bud's body from this angle. After about a full eight minute wait, the footsteps got further and further away until he fully disengaged. I came down, cleared my corners, and found both bodies downstairs completely untouched. Body looks unlooted. I can't see the gun, but I believe it's still there. Oh, this guy's still unlooted. Okay, MP5. You got AP rounds in it. One, 150 rounder. It's good enough. I ignored the rest of that loot since those random shots freaked me out. This guy, on the other hand, was geared out of his mind. A beautiful M4, level 6 body armor, and a solid helmet. 
I also started to hear scabs running around the perimeter, so I wrapped it up and got out of here. I took a quick peek into the bag to see my winnings and then made it safely to extract. GG. In this next one, I spawned in Pinewood Hotel. And since I'm still learning the map, I was trying to find a way to get from our spawn here to these windows so I could snipe here. And I found these windows but realized my new butt was looking at the out of bounds side of the map. So I went onwards to keep looking. So I just realized those windows I'm looking at don't really lead to anywhere. Anywhere useful. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I... I won that fight against this guy. Oh, he's, he's a sniper as well. I think I got him right in the head. Oh, he's got a green flare so we can extract right next to us if we wanted to. I could have the shotgun as my secondary. KS-23, put the shotgun shells in my pocket. As I see this doorway ahead, I now have a good sense of where I am in the hotel. So I decide to just exit the hotel and look for another sniper angle. But then... Another player. Not a great angle for me. Going back to Richard minus his lessons, I'm not going to fight him in front of his weapon. And I want to create distance. So I disengage and attempt to get a pretty long flank on him. If he plays passive, I have time to make a full circle. I made it to the other side of the building, found a way out, and tried to move as fast as I could to get behind him. He's still throwing grenades. He has no idea I'm repositioning. So if we move quicker here, we have a chance of getting his flank here. This is where he was, right here. Now it's a matter of, can I see him through these windows? Those are the stairs earlier that go down to him. So he should be, unless he pushed in, he should be somewhere here. We're going to play patient here. There he is. Got him. That reposition worked out. I think at this point we loot him and then we use the green flare and get out of here. Okay, this was the player earlier. I'm gonna loot him. Well, he had a sniper rifle of his own as well. I wrapped up the loot, used the green flare, and got out safe. And now, for the raid you've been waiting for, where I came across the most ridiculous sniper moment in Tarkov. I spawned in Kostin and made a sprint across here to get a nice little sniper angle on this little hot zone. What I like about this spot is, although it's on the ground, my flanks are covered by concrete. And immediately, I see movement. <laughs> movement right to left here. Go chase. Try to get an angle on that guy. Got him. One more. Okay, let's switch positions. Get into that park there. Into the center. I doubt his teammate has the guts to loot his boy. We'll take advantage and uh, get a reposition for a totally different angle. Spotted, spotted, spotted. This was my mistake. I put myself in front of my enemy's weapon and I got a little too close. Already two rules broken from what we learned. So I decided to return to the original position. Oh, there he is. Whiffed. I unfortunately whiffed and I lost them. For the next three minutes, I shifted from position to position, trying to see if I could spot him from different angles, but no dice. Then my fiance, who was not home at this time, started ringing my phone in the middle of this raid. Hello. So naturally, I sat in a corner to take the call. And then I as I hung up the phone, I'll call you back. The guy just ran past me. Literally in the middle of a phone call there. Thank you. 
Now, I'm not sure if this was the same guy from earlier, but because of my frustration from losing him the first time, I really wanted to close it out here with a nice headshot, whether it was him or not. So I got desperate and went for the kill. And the Tarkov god said, nope. I forgot to reload my sniper, and our guy safely extracted. GG. This was such a fun challenge. I did this challenge because it's the way I always imagined Tarkov being played. Much slower and much more methodical. It was one of the most immersive experiences I've had in any video game. And if you do enjoy immersive gameplay, I did an immersive playthrough with my older brother right here. This is a video you don't want to miss.